So I have here 1986 Mazda B2000 and it was cranking but not starting and there was no spark. So I'll tell you briefly what I did but in the rest of the video I can show you some of the steps I did to change the faulty uh, ignition, ignition control module. But that was the culprit, ignition control module. But anyway, I changed the spark plugs, I changed the ignition switch, um, and still would not get any spark. I even changed the ignition coil itself. It's a brand new ignition coil, and it would not start. So then I read on some forum that the guy had a similar issue, and his ignition control module failed. And this is what an ignition control module looks like. It's this little piece. And this piece is located inside here, inside a distributor. And what happened on my truck is that I'll show you. I actually bought another distributor, but it turned out to be not the correct one for my truck, but it looks almost identical. So what happened is that there's a there's a O-ring right here. And this goes into the engine. And this oil comes up to here and lubricates the shaft. And the o-ring on mine failed and the oil would splatter outside but also somehow it got inside the distributor and it ruined this ignition control module and the ignition control module is located behind this plate right here this is uh, advanced something firing mechanism something like that but if you take this bolt off it will expose this little thing um, and I got mine from O'Reilly. It's not Mitsubishi, but it was aftermarket and it's actually uh, It was import direct of replacement parts. I guess that's the brand But it was ignition module and it was like $19 and it was really easy to change it, it took me probably about 30 minutes to do so, but I would also highly recommend to take off the distributor and change this o-ring and also if you take off the distributor just make sure that you put everything in the same way that you took it out because you can mess up the timing and the firing order so just mark the distributor in which position you, you took it off don't don't spin the little shaft when you take it out because that will reset everything um, and it's it's not super hard to set your <clears throat> firing order but you know it's easier when you know how to do it so uh, if you want to see what inside a distributor looks like uh, check out my the rest of the video but this is what caused the problem of not not starting of my truck so what I have is the ignition control module right here this little piece is this right here this is the distributor and I don't know if it will start but this is the old piece, it's Mitsubishi, I guess made by Mitsubishi. And this is the aftermarket piece that I got from O'Reilly for like 19 bucks. 